When it came to the great outdoors, one man brought fishing and hunting adventures to the masses with Jim Thomas Outdoors, a weekly outdoor TV show with a magazine format. A true pioneer in outdoor television programming, Jim's shows were of the highest production standards and were in a class all their own. This is certainly worth a trip to Alaska in anybody's book. And when it comes to raising a fish for eating purposes, a fat, bright, fresh run king is top on any man's totem pole. While Jim covered all kinds of outdoor stories, his passion was appealing to the youth of our country. It was his passion and his concern. I have a feeling that there aren't as many young people. Young people in the sense of uh, not even teenagers, I'm talking about six, seven-year-old boys and girls that are involved in it. And maybe it's because of the, that we adults have changed. Maybe we have, have uh, been forced into a much more fast-paced world where we don't have time to take these kids fishing. I do think that has changed. And I'm sorry to see it change. I'm sorry to see it happen. After watching Jim on TV when I was a boy, I had the pleasure to fish with him and become close friends. To Jim, fishing and hunting was more than a pastime. It was a bridge that connected generations and a way to build and strengthen relationships. I'd like to think that maybe I've helped some of these youngsters become interested in, in, in the great outdoor world. And, uh, uh, you know, if, if I'm to be remembered at all, I think that's what I'd like to be remembered as. Jim influenced countless young people, especially yours truly. As a boy, I dreamed that one day I could do what Jim did. And in 1983, that dream became a reality. Through the years, we often spoke of working together, and that was my next big dream. And then, a phone call I will never forget. Alan, Alan, this is Jim Thomas. How are you, my boy? I received your very, very nice note of May 18th, and sorry about the delay in getting back to you. I have been quite ill, and I'm confined to my home in Dallas. But I would be delighted, absolutely delighted, young man, to see you and talk to you at any time that you can spare the, spare the few moments. I have something in mind for you. Uh, it wouldn't maybe be a bad thing for you and I to discuss on a, on a future project. Uh, I'm sort of ill, but I do have some hopes of recovering, but, you know, that's up to God. But um, I, I, I feel that maybe the time has come where you and I could settle down and, and have a talk because I have, a, as you know, hundreds of shows, and I've got... 20 by 20 all weather you know air conditioned storeroom that's chock full of invaluable material that has accumulated through the years and who knows what kind of a brainstorm we can come up with but um, you're young you're enthusiastic you've always had my admi admiration and uh, and my uh, backing and uh, maybe this is the time to sit down and discuss something please give me a call at your convenience Unfortunately, Jim passed away not long after that phone call. But prior to his death, I promised to keep his wonderful works alive, to preserve these stories for a whole new generation. I'm honored and blessed to be able to pass on these truly unique and priceless treasures.